when do we think when do we think when do we think brendan Schaub will get back into fish and copy joe rogan Remember when Brendan was into fish and he had the fucking tank in his house and shit and he was speaking about Rick Ross and stuff, um, DMing him about his fish tanks? Uh, update on the fish. My addiction has gotten worse. <laughs> Rick Ross takes me because I was talking about... Uh, yeah, how crazy is that? I can't believe that just... That's 2023 for you. Rick Ross DM me. Sorry, I didn't text. DM me and has this... And, uh, I was talking about fish tanks. I'm ballsy with fish tanks. And uh, we posted about it. He must have saw it because he DM me. He just installed a seven hundred thousand dollar fish tank. I don't even know what that looks like. I just responded, "Yeah, but do you have a blue lobster with sunglasses on?" Didn't DM back. <laughs> Didn't DM back. I ruined that relationship. When do we think Brendan's gonna get back into fish or start fishing like this, like R Rogan is? When do we think that's gonna happen? Because we know it's gonna happen. We know Brendan's going to find a way to fucking latch onto this. We know Brendan's going to be doing what Joe is doing in this picture where he's going and doing like, I think this is called like, is this called like deep sea fishing? I don't know what the fucking term is called, but you go out and into the fucking, you know, into the fucking ocean and you do some fucking heavy duty fishing. You have the fucking strap around your waist. You anchor yourself to the fucking boat and you try and pull in some big fucking bad boys of fishes. Sometimes you catch and release. Sometimes you bring them on board and you bash their head in with a hammer like fucking chin and you try and fill it and make fucking nuggets right sometimes you do that with a blunt knife or sometimes you catch and release when do we think brendan will start getting into fish again when do we think he will start doing this again because it's, it's on the books it's on the cards we know it is chin and brendan catch and cook exactly <laughs> young old boys <laughs> imagine seeing brendan and chin on that little boat in the, <laughs> the <nickel. laughs> chin with these fucking horrible conversation starters and stuff oh that would be a fucking blast to see them both out there on camping and shit that would be fucking hilarious uh, <laughs> nj ranger the fish is as big as joe yeah exactly the fish is fucking huge look how short fucking joe's shorts are god damn joe joe's letting it all hang out in it right those shorts are tiny um, the caption reads, I had a great time and caught some awesome barracuda at the Salt Shark Bevy in British Virgin Islands. Thank you to Chad and Jamie, two awesome guys, incredibly knowledgeable about those waters and the fish that live in them. If you're ever down there on vacation and you want to have some good fishing, I can't recommend them enough. Wow. He gave them a big shout out, even tagged them as well. That's the thing with, with Joe. He's very good at that. He's very open with tagging people and stuff and blasting them out. That's going to get him a lot of business. So big up Joe for like giving these guys a lot of business for their fishing business and shit. This is pretty cool. So here he is pulling in some fish, right? Um, that's obviously a body full of violence, right? Look at Joe's little feet, right? His little size six feet. Look at <laughs> usa <laughs> joe for sure i'm i'm sure of this i remember there was this room not rumor not rumor somebody told me this guy that used to own a sneaker store in london called slamming kicks um magdy right um i knew him from back in the day so big up magdy wherever he is it's like a, it was a consignment store and i remember he said one day he sold Kanye some shoes back in the day when he used to wear like jordan retros i think he sold him a pair of jordan freeze and if you know anything about jordan freeze you know that they're really clunky they're really big square blocks of shoes allegedly um kanye um wanted a pair of them obviously magdy works in a shoe shop if you've ever worked in a shoe shop you would know that you can instantly tell what somebody's shoe size is once you've worked in a shoe shop for long enough you can just tell by looking at their feet so magdy kind of guessed oh you're like a us8 and kanye flipped he's like no nah, i'm not us8 i'm a us11 or something like he flipped he got really angry and magdy was like no you're us8 and he said no i'm a us11 and then basically kanye wouldn't refuse to wear the us8 and told magdy to give him the us11 and he bought the US 11. And then I noticed in pictures, like, Rob, he wears really big shoes. So you can tell, if you look back at old pictures of Kanye, when he used to wear Jordans, look at the pictures, you'll see, if he, especially when he's walking, his shoes kind of slipping a lot. So he purposely wore bigger shoes because he was self-conscious about the size of his feet. I think Joe does the same thing. I think Joe is probably a solid US 9 or something, but he wears like a US 10 or US 11 and he just ties them really tightly because his feet, you know, he's conscious about his feet being fucking really small. I think so. I think so. I think so. But yeah, um, body full of violence. 
Um, Joe out here pulling in the fucking fish. It looks fucking beautiful though. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It looks fucking gorgeous, right? This is what you should be doing with your money. Right? When you're rich as Joe, you should be out in the open seas fishing randomly like this. Like, look at the view. Look at that. That's fucking gorgeous. That's what you should fucking be doing. Not ranting about fucking transgender people in fucking libraries reading children's books right or like you know like that's what you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be screaming about fucking homelessness on your fucking podcast <laughs> you shouldn't be complaining about gavin newsom every day or talking about covid or donald trump when you've got more money than god this is what you should be doing you should be out in the open seas just fishing and hanging out you know that's what your money should afford you to do like <laughs> but joe's out here fucking raging over the gays and the trans and all this stuff and ubi it's like bro none of this even affects you like why are you bothered about this um continuing more pictures of joe look how happy he looks when's the last time you've seen joe look this happy in his podcast right when do you when do you think brendan's gonna do it is brendan in the comments let's see brendan in the comments did he mention? Because I've got, I've got a feeling Brendan's going to get... Because I'm really surprised. I think someone mentioned this in the stream chat. I remember I said, I was surprised that Brendan never tried to copy Joe with the hunting stuff. Or even with the gun stuff. Like, going to that place. What's that place everyone goes to? Where fucking... Um, where um, What's his name? Where the John Wick actor did his training. I'm surprised Brendan never got into that. I think it's called, like, Seren Tactical or something, right? Seren Tactical? Is that the one? I'm surprised jo Brendan never copied Joe. With the gun thing, with the gun range thing, and with the hunting thing. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. I said, Terran, I said, Terran Tactical. Pick up Asada and Edward. Thank you for that. I'm really surprised that Brendan never copied Joe with the hunting and the gun thing. He kind of just left that side alone. Maybe it's just too much work, though, isn't it? That's probably why I didn't want to get into it. I'm surprised he never got into it like, super hard. Um, there's Joe with the fish there. Um, and yeah, that's it. That fish kind of looks like Whitney, isn't it? She kind of looks like Whitney. Huh? It looks a bit like Whitney. That fish looks a bit like Whitney Cummings. <laughs> the fish is giving Whitney. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> um, is actually, is he, is he in the comments? Is he in the comments? Is he in the comments here? Oh, Laura Sanko's in there. The hell of a catch. Let's see all the people sucking him off. Because that's always kind of cringy. Let's see all the fucking celebrities sucking off Joe. Who's in here? Preston Pole. A lot of people don't realise if you have a barracuda and water and put them in grass, they turn into a Jack Russell Terrier. Okay. that's You see, this guy's not even a comedian. And that's funnier than anything Bert has ever said. A lot of people don't realise if you have leave a barracuda out in the water and put them in grass, they turn into a Jack Terrier. Like... That legitimately is funnier than anything Bert Kreischer has said in the last five years. I swear to God. Um, what else have people said here? Uh, Bo Hunting, Jay, Scott, Sarah. Let's see some other celebrities. I want to see what the blue tick people have said here. Black Tip says, loving the fishing post. Joe Lozon, wait, wait, wait. Socks on a boat. I won't even walk in the bathroom with socks. <sighs> Can we say this is another form of an annoying person? Can I, can I say that the person that ultra like ultra analyzes the background and stuff and points it out in the comments to make it look like they were paying attention is giving teachers pet is giving um how do I suck up to you in a fucking banter way imagine a person that that hates this sort of shit people that do that oh then oh my god i can't believe you've got the whatever book in there oh my god i can't believe you have that it's like bro stop over analyzing my picture to try and feign fucking familiarity and shit like fuck off like you knob socks on a boat anyway another one joe for president what's he in that i want to see more blue tick people is there anybody else any any more blue tick people here scott eastwood says i will go with you anytime okay scott eastwood um okay no more shit no more blue tick people i thought there'd be more blue tick people sucking of joe and wanting to fucking get in there um look at the teeth on that thing epic catch nice catch them for food or sport over there they throw away their fish or use a bait here in nz we don't care nice kudos nice kudos brother Another man, you have to come catch some tuna in the northeast. 
<laughs> All these men inviting Joe to his house, man. Anyway, I believe that tweet, man. Like, straight men are really homoerotic. Hey, man, you need to come over to my place, man. I'll show you some fish. It's like, what? <laughs> what <laughs> didn't know the few fish time for us for time for a sturgeon trip clap 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 okay cool whatever whatever um anyway um don't be surprised if you see brendan don't be surprised if you see brendan don't be surprised if you see brendan who's this chris mack az's hitler biography background is iconic i don't know what you're talking about chris mack that is false information. That is, what, what did Rick Ross say? Allegations, accusations. You know what I mean? False information. <laughs> no hablas inglés. No hablas inglés. <laughs> oh mate oh mate oh mate <laughs> no say hitler no say adolf hitler no say <laughs> anyway <laughs> 